Today's tutorial is about stable video diffusion. Let me quickly show you what I did with it. I know that after seeing what Sora from OpenAI can do, a lot of people lost interest in stable video diffusion. However, we don't have access to that yet and it's not free. I am using the Stable Diffusion Forge UI. SVD is already integrated. You just need to look for the tab called SVD, uh, which stands for Stable Video Diffusion. If you click on it, you'll find a place where you can upload or drop your image. If you scroll down, it says SVD checkpoint file name. There, you don't have a model yet, so you have to download one. There are different sources, but I downloaded one from Civit AI. You can search for the name or access this link. I use version 1.1. You can download this into the following folder. Go to Web UI, then look for models. The folder named SVD is where you place the model. Now, before moving on, keep in mind that SVD needs a good video card with more than six to eight gigabytes of video RAM. If you hit the refresh button, you should be able to see it here and you can select it from the list. Now, for limitations, you can only use videos with dimensions of 1024 by 576 pixels or 576 by 1024 pixels. So upload an image with a similar ratio. For the rest of the settings, use these. For video frames 25, for motion bucket ID, I use 127 is a parameter that controls the level of motion in the generated video. By adjusting this value, you can influence how much motion is present. A higher motion bucket ID results in more pronounced and dynamic motion in the video, while a lower value leads to a calmer and more stable effect. For FPS 6, copy the rest of the settings for all the remaining, and for the sampler, I used Euler A, but you can experiment with others. Use the scheduler Keras, and for the seed, you can change it to different numbers until you find a variation that you like. Let me generate an image to show you how it works. I'll use a prompt with a robot, just like you saw at the beginning of this video. Remember, it only works on those exact sizes, so use that for the size, either landscape or portrait. Optionally, you can use an art style. Once I hit generate, I'll get an image like this cool robot. Under the image, you'll see a button that lets you send the image to SVD. Click on it and the image will appear. Of course, you can also upload it manually here. Scroll down and look for the generate button, click on it and wait a minute or more, depending on your video card's power. After it's finished, you can play the result. If you don't like it or if there are a lot of errors, try again with a different seed until you get one that looks okay. Don't expect to get perfect results on the first try. There's a download button on the top right corner so you can download it. I'm not sure why they didn't put the video in the same folder. By default, it's put in the Gradio temp folder. You can right click on the video and select copy video address, then go to a folder and delete the end of the path with the video and the beginning, leaving you with the exact path where the video is saved. As you can see, the video I generated appears here. Additionally, in your normal export folder, you have all the frames for this video. Try different seeds and generate again until you get something that works. The size and video quality are not so good, which is why I'm using a video upscaler like Topaz Video AI. It's not cheap, but it does a good job. I'll show you what I do, just in case someone is interested in this process. You simply browse or drag the video here. On the right, you can see the original size and FPS, which is only six. From the presets, I choose upscale to 4K and convert to 60 FPS. Then I hit export and wait for it to finish. You'll see a green check mark when it's done. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the original and on the right is the upscaled version. Additionally, you can see it here with the screen split in half for a clearer comparison. Let me show you another example of a cute cartoon snowman. I'll use the same size that SVD supports. Um, to get a better image in the same size, I'll lock the seed and enable the high resolution fix to get a bigger image that has fewer errors and looks a little better. Optionally, you can adjust it in Photoshop to have a clearer image and then send it or upload it to SVD. I scroll down and hit generate 
And while you wait, if you look in the command window, you can see more info on how much memory is left. From 24 gigabytes, I have 18 gigabytes left, so it seems like it's using around six gigabytes. The first result is not too bad. It has some problems with the hands at the end. You can download it and try another seed, hoping for better results. Sometimes you get lucky on the first try, while other times it takes five to 10 tries to get a good one. If it still doesn't turn out how it should, try a different image because it depends on the image as well. Its composition, what's seen in the image, whether there's snow, smoke, fire, etc. If you incorporate more elements in the image, there are more things that can move around to create more dynamics, but it can also lead to more mistakes. So play around with it and have fun. Here I picked one generation that looks okay and has fewer mistakes. Since the quality is not so good, I'm using Topaz Video AI to get this upscaled version. Uh, I removed a few frames at the beginning and at the end that had more obvious mistakes. Then I duplicated and reversed the video, creating a loop that looks kind of cool. After that, you can make it more interesting by adding some snow overlays on top, and the result is quite nice. In the future, models should produce better and better results, so this is a good start, I'd say. Here are a few more examples I generated with it and upscaled afterward to get a smoother video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Thank you and have a great day.